Penny with Sage Butterfly Designs. Welcome. Um, I usually forget to say the whole welcome and subscribe and all that kind of fun stuff. I usually forget to say all of that. So I'm actually going to remember this time. Today is April 25th and it is my 25th episode of Floss Tube. And no, I didn't mean to do that. It just happened that way. Um, Bo is down here chewing on a bone. So you might hear a little bit of crunching here and there. If it gets too annoying, I'll do something else with him as I said. Um, speaking of which, here is the most adorable picture ever of him with a pacifier in his mouth. I swear that dog is going to be the death of me. He's so sweet and cute. <laughs> yes, he is, Paul. You know that by now. Alright, I think I told you in the last video, possibly to, um, that my birthday is coming. Well, I know you guys know my birthday is coming up because you helped me choose the um, birthday stitch. Um, but it is on the 28th and I am going on a trip with my best friend. I think I've told you all this before. If so, sorry. Um, but I'm going to, we're going to Atlanta and I'm leaving out on the 27th. So that's Thursday. Um, and then we're going to be gone until the 1st of May. And we're just going to Atlanta. We're going to the Shakespeare Theater. We're going to see Moulin Rouge. Um, we're doing Spa Day. Um, just relax. Just, no, I think I'm going to have to take that bone from him. I think that's going to end up being too annoying. Um, but that's annoying. <laughs> he just looks at me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, like you gave it to me, Mom. You gave me the bone. I didn't realize. Okay. Um, at any rate, where was I was I saying? Um, spa day, relaxing. Um, she is going to start a diamond painting, and I'm gonna be taking some, of course, stitching with me. So we just kind of relax, enjoy everything else. So, yeah. Um I got a round robin. I finally got my round robin in the mail. Hold on, that bone is just too much. It's quieter. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to hide the mess on the bed because yeah, there's mess on the bed again, people. Always. But I've got some news about that towards the end of the video. I'm just gonna have life kind of sprinkled in and just whatever. Um, so yeah, I know I have it in my notes to tell you at the end of the video. So you're going to, oh, I'm excited. Okay. Back to the round robin. That's where we were talking about. I got the round robin. I don't know. Okay. Make sure I had it facing correctly here. This is long dog, yeah, long dog sampler. I live by the airport. If you couldn't tell by the airplane noises. <laughs> oh, okay, so here is the long dog sampler, pandemic. It is a round robin. I'm gonna get it up close here so you can see the names of everybody who's stitched on it. Getting that to go. Through. I'm kind of looking through the fabric, so I hope it's showing up pretty well. Look at all the details. Oh my goodness. I'll take it up on one side and then down on the other. Look at that. I have always wanted, or I've, I should say I've always wanted, since I found out about them about a year ago, I've been wanting a long dog sampler. And I've resisted so far. So now I'm gonna be stitching on this one and we'll find out whether or not that makes me go, mm, I don't think so. Or if it makes me go, oh, I gotta have my own now. We'll see what happens with that. But I love the way it looks and everything. This is on 32 count, I believe. It might be 28, but it looks like 32. Um, and it's done one over one over one and it came with a big old spule of white so 
that's going to be added to my whoop, rotation. We can still hear that bone pretty bad. I'm going to take a bone away from a puppy. See how well that works out for you. Okay. Decide what I'm going to have to do on that. I'm going to have to put the paws on this so I can figure it out. Okay. I let him out of the office. So now I got to keep an ear out to make sure he's just chewing on his bone and not destroying anything. He's actually been really good lately, though. So we'll see. Although you can probably hear part of my husband's phone call now. That's why I had the door shut. But I don't want to shut him completely out. Okay, where was I? Let's see here. Oh, I have an FFO. Yes. An FFO. Okay. So I have this done up like two ways here. So hold on a second. Let me take this one off. Okay, so as you originally saw a while ago, was spring on the spool. And now it's sticking and now I have summer I started it I finished it and I FFO'd it I know the FFO wasn't that much it was just some interfacing on the back of it and putting it onto the spool <laughs> pretty sad FFO but it's an FFO it counts right um so yeah so we've got summer done and that kind of leads me into the segue of the design business. Um, this summer um, pattern will be available. I'm going to try to put it up tomorrow. Um, if not, it'll be when I get back from my trip. So keep an eye out for that. I'll put it on the website and the Facebook group. So if you're wanting it, um, the summer pattern, it'll be up soon. So like I said, I'll try for tomorrow. Um, Today my big plans are this video and to get my nails done, so excuse the nasty nails still. Um, I was letting them breathe out and kind of heal a little bit before getting them done again. Um, but I do have, I'm going to be doing my video. Oh my God, that phone is loud. I can hear it in here. I hope you guys still can't hear it. At least it's not in the same room. <laughs> my goodness, I thought it was a good idea. Give them a bone, keep them busy. Who knew? Oh, anyway, um... Oh, nails. I figured I would do my video <laughs> and then I would get my nails done while it takes forever to load up the video. But, you know, it's what it is. Okay, so let's see. Um, on this video, I already told you I'm doing this video kind of different than I usually do. Even though it's not the end of the month, it's the 25th. And there's still more days to the month. I'm counting this kind of as my end of month video because I know I'm not going to do one before May. So I'm just kind of holding myself accountable for end of month now. Um, I probably I'm not going to stitch on the two that I did not get where I was supposed to be. <laughs> I missed the goal on those two. Oh well, life goes on, right? Um, but I'm not going to work on those two in the next couple days. So it doesn't really matter anyway so I may as well just call it in a month and move on okay so I'm gonna combine in a month so I'm gonna tell you what my April plans were whether I hit the goal whether I didn't hit the goal as well as my plans for May for all of my whips um, first one up is my birthday start I did already start it and that is the autumn bee and it is by the blue circle it was part of the um stitching circle silver needle needles stitching with friends stitching circle i don't know some big old long name like that any rate there's a little icon of it any rate this is the um the blue flower autumn bee and I know I was going to put it on green when I was showing it to you originally. I was like, oh, I'm going to put it on green and blah, blah, blah. This... Yeah. And, well, after much debate, I decided to go with brown. <laughs> so this is just raw, 18 count raw. And that is the bee butt part of his body. So that is the start of my autumn bee. So, I'm excited about it. 
This may or may not come with me on my trip. This one is being, I'm debating on. I'm not sure. Next up. Oh. See, I'm already falling off. That's why I have notes here so that I don't forget. So, my plan for April was to start this. And obviously, I started it. My goal is to finish, as you saw, I started down here. Um, is to finish, I call that the butt. I don't know if that's accurate or not. I call that the B butt, and then this is like the B body. And I want to complete, and then the B head, obviously. So it's kind of in three sections to me. And I want to get the butt and the body done for May. That's the goal. Cool. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's the goal. All right. My next is my Lavender Mist by Mirabilia. And this is my Teresa Made Me Do It Fancy Lady that I am stitching up for my best friend who I'm going on the trip with. Um, this is not coming. <laughs> this is too high of a count to come. I traveled with Ada. Um, my goal for this one was to complete the pattern page. It's, it, they're they're not into fours, they're actually into eights. It's like a big one and then like a small one. And then like, then you flip it over and there's like a big one and a small one. And then you flip that page over and then it's the same. So there's actually like eight sections, but they're different sizes and yeah. But at any rate, I stitched, I completed the first page. So you can't see there are flowers up here just up underneath my Q-snap. But this is right where here is cut. You see I dropped down a little bit on some of these, but that's gonna be the end. So the second part, the next section is right through there. So it was like from here all the way to here was like the bigger section of the page. And then this is the smaller section of that section of page I don't know and anyway it's way the width chart's broken up um but this is on 32 count Aurora by Silk Weaver and I started it in January 1st I'm supposed to have it done for her birthday in um which is December 8th <laughs> I'm so hopeful this is the big part of the pattern once we get done with this section down well there's another little section over here too. It goes across more. But this dress section, then it's not so bad. So I've gotten some of these flowers here, looking at the pattern, and going down to about right there. So I've got this section here is my May section. That's what I want to get done in May, is this bottom piece. And then this here would be the bottom piece here, another month. And then this, but you see it's already breaking up to where it's not so much. This was just a very big piece. And then after that, it's like, this is broken up into like, I think one section and two sections or something like that. But again, there's like, even though it's a whole section, it's not that much stitching. I still have not decided if I'm doing one over one on the skin or not. Okay, next up is Summer Fairy, my Chatelaine, or my second Chatelaine. Um, and this is the picture of that. And I am working on part two, which is this the fairy. So, I wanted to get about half done in April. And here she is in all her glory. She, uh, there are like eight colors of red in there. So it was pretty intense. And skin is all one over. And some of the hair is also one over. And this is on 32 count. Let me get flip over to where I can see my notes here. Um, 32 count Chesapeake Wexford Lugana. And I started this on 225. 
Um, so I do feel like I got half done because I've got her wing. I've got a little bit left of her dress and then the specialty stitches in there. And then she's holding on to a basket of flowers. And then we've got her wings. Um, so a lot of that is bead worked. It, of course, waits till the end. So I'm going to count that as half done. And hopefully May's goal is to get the other half done and be completed with part two. So we'll see how that goes. Sorry, I'm just putting my stuff down here on an open drawer, trying to balance things. Okay, let's see here. Next is freebie. I didn't take everything out. Some of them I took out, some of them I didn't. The freebie is this pattern here. The All-American Freebie, which is from Silver Creek Samplers. This is my um, sal that I'm doing with that one stitcher, uh, Kimberly. And... This is where I am at with that. It's on 18 count. I'm doing it one over, um, which is new for me. Usually I do two over, but I'm doing one over and I'm liking it. It's, it's not as full as I'm used to, not as bright, but it's, I think it's turning out nice. So I'm fine with that. And my goal is to finish this in the crash. I guess we'll be going and looking and finding out what that is. Goal is to finish this in May and it will be traveling with me again. I travel with Ada so that works out to travel. Let me go check on him. I'll be right back. The crash with him dropping the boom on the door. Door frame thing. It went crash. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> okay, next up is Beach by the Cricut Collection. And as you know, I'm changing the letters to different um, Rick Style Works. And I have gotten to here. Last time you saw it, I think I had A and one. The A, the star, excuse me. <clears throat> the A, the star, and one flip-flop. So I got the flip-flop, the castle, the sea, and a crab. So it's moving right along quickly. I don't think it's coming with me. It just has too many. I don't want to travel with a lot. <laughs> That's too much. So the only reason why Autumn B was being considered is not so many colors. This is too much. So it's not. I won't travel with it. Even though it is Ada. It's 18 count Ada. Um, but it's not. Um, freebie, I was supposed to start it in April, which obviously I did. And in May, I want to finish it. I think I said that, but I just want to make sure I'm keeping up with that. Um, for Beach, April was a start. So, yep, I got that done. I didn't have anything other than to start. <laughs> um, and in May, I want to do through H. So... We'll see how that goes. Okay, so next up is going to be Santa Sleigh by Nora Corbett. Been working on this one since November. My goal, the page split is about right here. So from here over, I wanted to have the ribbons and the railings done. So here that is, there's one piece of a railing and some ribbons. I did get all of the uh, metallic red in there. My issue was I was trying to work on this right after working on Summer Fairy with all that red dress. And then I was working on the red ribbons and I was like, the dog's crying. My life, my life. Be in here, you both just can't be in here. Here, play with this toy. Hmm, you play with your toy. 
toy. I got my bat on. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you steal my shoe. Oh, goodness. So, at any rate, I don't think you can see the sparkle of the metallic in there, in that ribbon. And I probably should have worked on more of the rail or something, but I was, because I was so burnt out on the red. But I was like, well, it is what it is. I'm not too upset about not meeting goals, especially when they're on the, um, when they're on Christmas because I know I'm going to be doing Christmas in July and I'm going to catch up on Christmas at that point so so on that one in April my goal was ribbons and railings and it did not get done so May my goal is ribbons and railings again maybe in May I can get it done okay next up is uh, another Nora Corbett and this one is Floral Dream you guys have been seeing this since August of last year so you know what it looks like my April goal was to get the blanket done that big blanket of full coverage stitching in all of those colors that was my goal so say okay penny don't keep us in suspense forever this one's not in hoop it took me a minute and she's not in hoop because i got it done if i felt like a finish me getting all of that done so Blanket is done. I am so excited. The next step is, of course, that arch. So, my April goal was get that done. And I worked OT on it because I had like all of this to get done. It took me a bit. So, since I did so much work on it, my goal for May is to start the arch. Start it. Not a very big goal or anything. So, that's pretty small. I can start anywhere, somewhere on the arch and get a little piece of it done and call it goal met because I did so much this month on it that, that now I might... I start up the arch, get really involved and stitch away. I don't know. I still want to finish her so she can hang up in my bathroom. But yeah, I'm happy right now that that blanket is done. And we'll start the arch. What are you complaining about back there? You going to say hey to everybody? Here, let me move my chair. There we go. Well, there he is. Mr. Crazy Butt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You left your bone out there. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Next on the list is Christmas Eve. So I'm moving my notes up here. There we go. Is Christmas Eve my cottage garden? I love that Santa. You all know that though, because I tell you that every single time I pull it up, I'm like, I love that Santa. Love, love, love. Okay. And my goal for April was to complete all of the fur going around the jacket. That was my goal. Where I got is the bottom over. So now I'm working on the up. So. Look at those colors next to that blue. I just love it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. I get excited every time I pull it out and just love it to death. But it's on 32 count twilight. Um, 
so I did not complete my April goals to get all the fur on the jacket done, which I did not do. So that's the same thing for me to get that fur done. So let's see, oops, I did not make it back into this bag. Hold on. What are you doing? You looking for trouble? Crazy butt. Summer acorns. You've not seen this one this month. The blue flower summer acorns. And these are, it calls for classic color works. But I'm using different classic color works than the pattern calls for. If that makes sense. My goal was to complete one vine, which I did. So I had the medallion one month. I did the vine. I finished that up. And then I started May's vine. So April's goal was to complete this, which I did. And May is going to be to complete this line, which I have a start on. And this is on 32 count, let me look here, exotic or orchid. And I started it February 10th. And it's in one of the ugly cheap bags, but... <laughs> things aren't pretty bad something's not all right so this is the summertime I call it summer bloom for some reason in my head I don't probably because there's a big flower on it but this is summertime my April goal was to start it it's been started I did change the color of the pot. It was supposed to be green. And I thought, even though it was a darker green, that darker green, and then the leaves, and then I was, I thought that was just too much. So I changed it to, um, it's the called for um, weeks, uh, day lily. But it's like only supposed to be like two little squares or something over here. And I decided to make it into the pot as well. I thought it would, I like it. Anyway. It's on a 14 count curved tile. Um, May's goal is to complete it and it will be traveling with me. So hopefully I can complete it. That is all of my whips as well as my April summary as well as my May plans for the whips so we got that all taken care of it once while you were looking at them instead of me later saying you remember that pattern so I thought that might work better let me know what you think okay I kitted two new patterns I showed you the patterns last week um but this week I but I then I kitted them and that is ah uh, the Blackbird design, these are both Christmas presents. Um, or one's for my mother-in-law, the other one's for my sister-in-law. And I'm doing this Blackbird design, it's called Lily of the Valley. And I'm using the called for flosses, um, they're weak spy works. And I decided to go She's very hand too. It'd be nice if I had these on. <laughs> yeah. I need more holder things, round rings. I need more rings. So these are just like thrown in there. <laughs> They're not on a ring, but I'm putting them on this. So that's how it's gonna look. And that is, this is, Get the glasses out, peeps. This is 32 count platinum Lagana. So it's a pretty simple and basic. She's very antique and plain, not plain. She wouldn't appreciate some of the 
brighter colors that I use sometimes. We'll just leave it there. <laughs> Not really plain, but well, yeah, okay. And got the garbage truck. Yeah. Everybody knows the brakes of a garbage truck. <laughs> I just got everything going on here today, don't I? Airplanes, dog dropping things, dog chewing on bone, garbage truck. I think there are some sirens earlier. I don't know if I was like paused at that point or not, but there was like fire trucks and stuff going. And I'm like, <laughs> of course, today at my video. This one's for my sister-in-law who blessed this house, or bless our house, I guess it is, um, by Lizzie and Kate. Um, and I am using mostly the called for um, weak sty works. I think there's one classic color works in here. Nope, that's weak sty works too. Yeah, all of them are weak sty works. And I am putting it on 32 count um, sky mist. Is that what it was called? I think it was light blue mist but these are the color palette so that'll be pretty on the blue that could be a little bit more awkward in the way i'm holding things that'd be great right yeah <laughs> oh goodness and again i didn't have a ring for those false drops either i need to get some more rings all right add it to my list Hall. Let's go to Hall. Hall's always happy. First up, I got some fabrics from Grace Notes. So the first one is called James and it is 14 count Ada. Let me open it up so you can see it. I think I don't need the board. Look at that marbling. It is, it's showing it kind of gray on the computer, but it's a green. It's like a green gray. It's going to be awesome for like a fall pattern or even a Christmas pattern. It would look really good on that because it's kind of like a pine gray green. Maybe it show up better back here. But yeah. And then this one is called Blueberry Milkshake, and it is a very light blue, like an aqua, like a light blue mixed with some aqua in the marbling. And did I say what that was? 16 count. If I didn't say that, that's what it is. I can blame my age since my birthday's coming right up that I can't remember what I said five seconds ago. And then I got the fabric of the month. I got some, this is what I say as far as my mother uh, mother in law wouldn't go for the, the crazy colors. And then the fabric of the month. Woo! Have no clue. This is like summertime, springtime. Summertime or springtime stitch goes on that. Look at that. Look at the marbling on that. It's called Frosted Lemonade, I believe. Let me double check that. Yep, Frosted Lemonade. Perfect name for that. Look at that. That is just oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And that is an 18 count. So I'm excited about my new fabric because, you know, I didn't possibly have enough fabric. Oh, we only live once, people. And I'm not going to be the richest person in the graveyard, let me tell you. <laughs> I forget who said that to me, but ever since then, I'm like, there's my goal. I'm not going to be the richest person in the graveyard. Yeah. Okay. From that quarter shop. I got my June month to month, so I'm sure you've all seen the pattern by now, but it's strawberries. And it's okay. I don't hate it. 
more excited about the walls. But one more month, July. I saw it on um, Priscilla and Chelsea's uh, thing. I don't know when they did their video. I saw it this morning. And they showed July. And it's like one little flag. And the rest of it is like watermelon slices. And like watermelon, like how these huge strawberries next to this barn. I mean, they're like huge strawberries. They're just the size. Yeah. And they're kind of like that, but it's more of a trellis in the July one. But it's slices of watermelon hanging. Like a triangle watermelon slice hanging. Who hangs watermelon slices? That, that, that makes no sense to me. But it's got a cute truck on it um, with some watermelons in it. And that's cute. And, of course, they've got the you know barn. And the barn has a flag on it. So I like that. And um, I think it had a barrel full of watermelons. So I figure I'm just going to take those out and probably make some minis out of it for July. Because I'm not going to have a trellis with watermelon slices hanging that just yeah that makes no sense so of course black coffee always black coffee I've got so much black coffee I don't even know what to do with it all um it might end up being a giveaway I've got so much of it it's ridiculous I've got field of greens I already had field of greens so that one wasn't that big of a deal red ribbon I think I already had that one but I know people were like complaining about there being a shortage and Christmas is coming. So I definitely wanted that one. I think I have Queen Bee. And then these two I don't think I had. And that's the pear, pear cinnamon and eggshell. I really like the, the pear cinnamon. Look at the, the variation in that one. That's really pretty. So... There are these, and since I knew, and then I did an order, yeah, because I had some of these bags, I decided, well, I need to order some new project bags, so I went to that quarter shop, and I ordered, they're still in their bags, I ordered this one, which is, goes with the bloom, I think. Okay, I removed the bags for you. So, this is just one of the bags. I like this size. This is a good size for me. Some of the other ones I have are just so big that my projects just swim in them. And as you saw from earlier, not all of them even have bags. They had like little plastic bags. So, I bought some new bags. So, I got this one, which is... So I got that one, which is what did I say it was bountiful or something like that. This one I think is called Autumn Beauties or something like that. So yeah, thought that'd be cute. And then this one was like Welcome Home or something. I guess I had extra bags from some other things. So I went and I got those. And since I was there, I was like, well, I need some floss drops, some more floss drops. I forgot that I also needed rings, but yeah. But I was like, I need some more floss drops. So I look and for a package of the floss drops was $8.98. I'm like, it's about the same price as a bag. You're like, so I can be cheap. <laughs> I'll admit it. <laughs> about certain things, I get super cheap. <laughs> and I was just like, mm -mm. I could probably just make my own floss drops. I'm not going to. Mm. I don't know. Mm. So, <laughs> well, then I saw these packs for the welcome sign where you get the DMC threads and a full thing of the floss bitties, floss drop things for $4.48. So if I buy just the floss bitties, $8.98. If I buy the package with thread, it's 
Okay, hmm. so as you see, <laughs> which option I went for. <laughs> so now I have threads, but I got my floss drops, which is what I wanted, half price. So since they're half price, same deal applied to the Be Mine sign. So again, I got a full set of the floss drops plus thread for $4.48 when one package of just the biddies was gonna be $9.98. So now I got two packages plus a bunch of thread for what was gonna cost me for one package. I, I don't understand that, but okay. Their sales, like, I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> Made no sense, but okay. All right, so, oh, I'm gonna insert a photo here. I have decided that I want the full set of Weeks Dye Works. I like it. I didn't want to have full sets of every single fancy floss out there. And I like Weeks Dye Works better than Classic Colors. Um, classic Color Works, um, the variation is softer, almost non-existent in many cases. And I like the distinct difference of weak style works. So from one, two, three, I ordered all of the A's and B's that I did not have already. And I'm popping in a photo here for you to see all of them. <laughs> and I did put them on floss drops and I did put them on one of the few rings that I have <laughs> and have them stored. I ordered it last week, but I'm counting it as my May order. <laughs> um, I ordered another thing from 123 with all of the C's. So I'll get all of the C's that I don't have of Weeks Dye Works. I'm just going to try to hit a letter or two each month so it's not so much of an expense. Um, I obviously need to order some rings the next order too, don't I? Um, I'll probably just go to Walmart and buy some. But it's on my mind now that I'm missing that, as you can tell. I was watching Helen D. And she mentioned that they're starting in May the Honey Fair. Um, I don't have the pattern because I don't have it yet. So I ordered Honey Fair and I ordered Disease of um, Week Style Works. Um, so I'm planning on starting that because I wanted another reason why I'm not too excited about the June is the strawberries and for me June I'm gonna do bees I'm gonna do beehives and bees and stuff that's gonna be my June is bees so strawberries mm, don't work for me but the uh, twice I'm more excited about the floss than I am the pattern so I will go ahead and I'll be starting that and once I get it of course I'll show it and do a video on it and all that kind of stuff but so I ordered that I got um, and due to all the threads that I'm buying all the week style works I did put in another order for the floss chips um you saw them in the picture the floss chips from um, Adam Hart because they just fit so it's these because it fits the color labels that I have for the week's dye work so well. And then the nice little drop. And then, of course, when I have a ring and they hang because they're pretty thin, that I can get a lot of them on there. And then I like this little thing here for like the extra bit because week's dye works is expensive. And I'm a scrounge on that. DMC, I always sell like put five stitches in, just pss, throw it away. I don't care. <laughs> but this, I'm like, if I want to put five stitches in, I gotta save it. <laughs> it's expensive. So, yeah. At any rate, so I got that coming in. So I ordered that and I got a shipping notice right before the video. Um, I was checking email and I got a shipping notice for my Patokis and so I'll get that in the next month or two, I guess. Um, so I'm excited about that. I finally will get that in. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Okay. So the rest of my end of month review, 
from my April, I said I was going to do um, three FFOs and I got seven done. And if you want to see them, last video, I'm not going to pull them all out again. So if you want to see all the seven FFOs that was in my last video a week ago, 10 days ago, no. Floss tube 24, they're on there. Um, for whips, the only one that I didn't mention was I had planned on getting through page three of Freedom and I actually completed it and FFO'd it again. Previous video. Um, so yeah, so I got that done. The starts that I said I was going to start, I started and may plan so the only two that i failed on which like I, it's not like it matters at all the only one that i would did not meet my goal we'll put it that way i didn't really fail um the only one that i didn't meet my goals on were the two christmas designs the santa i did not complete the fur on his jacket and the sleigh i did not complete the ribbon and the rails so i'll get that done in the next um thank goodness gracious my husband is loud my life <sighs> so in may i've already talked about where i'm going with all my current whips but i did not talk about mania and hopefully my husband is not annoying you too much talking so loudly in the background obviously he didn't have his door shut <laughs> and okay both of us working from home can be fun sometimes as you can tell so mania I told you in my last video I was getting ready for it that I was kidding things up. Okay, so Mania. Yeah, I got a lot of starts planned. And I'm trying to figure how much how long I'm gonna take of the video to show you all this stuff. Cinnamon stars. It's on the list to get started. Using called for and I'm planning on putting it on. Okay, class is time. I'm putting that on the 25 count vintage country mocha. And called for losses. It's got a ring. <laughs> we found where all my rings are. They're in my kids. <laughs> oh. So. That look nice. I'm excited. Now on this one here, I had to buy a bunch of the sampler threads. Because it's it's got some week's dye works, and then it's got some uh, a bunch of the gentle arts, and then a few DMCs. Next up is Crab Dance. This one I'm taking on my trip, I think. Pretty sure I'm taking this one on the trip. It's on Ada. The little crab dance. He's cute. Tiny moderist. It was recently. I think this was. I know I got it at market. And I'm just putting it on 18 count dirty. And here are the colors. Not that many of them. I'm trade out that ring for a smaller one. That way I can use that for something on my other things, right? But that one's going on a trip with me. That'll be my trip start. <laughs> we all come up with so many. I'm watching videos and it's like, this one's my Mother's Day start. And this one's going to be my birthday start. And this one is my anniversary start. And so I'm like, we just like pick the craziest times to, <gasps> we got to have a start. <laughs> I start when I start. <laughs> okay. But these are my mania starts. So, Winter Heart. Seasons of the Heart. Winter, I call it Winter Heart. You know, you know me and changing names all the time. So, got the cutest little fox. And I'm guessing that's a partridge. Hmm. Anyway. Okay. And. I'm putting this on 14 count minty 
green opalescent. And I have all the flosses on one of these kind of cards. I haven't used one of these cards before. I've used like the squared ones, but not like a big round wood one. So, but that'll be fun. That'll be different. We'll see what happens with that. See what I think. So the only thing I've changed out is this, which is DMC 410. And that is going to be the heart. Instead of it just being a solid gray color, I've changed it to that. Everything else is called for, and they're all DMCs. And it's in this bag. I'm planning on starting one of my autumn gardens. I finished one last video. And I'm not sure which one of these I'm going to start. That's the one I finished. I finished this one. <laughs> Need to put that in a giveaway box. Because I finished it. Um, let's see here. I've got a blue flower pattern, but it's just a chart. It was a freebie, so um, I'll just flash that real quick. I've got Autumn House on the hill I'm thinking about that one I've got this one which is falling leaves and I also have all of these use the same threads that's why they're all in the same bucket the autumn urn in my autumn garden by fox and rabbit so I might do one of these. I'm not sure which one of these I'm going to start. But it will be one of these Autumn Gardens. And I just call it the Autumn Garden Collection. Because they all use the Autumn Garden threads. That look like crap right now. But it's just these four threads. So because it's only four threads and small patterns. I'm thinking that I might take that on the trip. This is all the maybe trip pile. But I'm also planning on starting, you just saw it, so I'm not going to take it all out again, but the Lily of the Valley. I'm thinking about starting that one, or that one is on the list. That's on my mania list. Honey Fair's on mania list, but I don't have that one. And then this one is the all around the block. I want to get at least one pattern, one of the patterns done for, um, and that was provided linen, linen, it doesn't go on trip. And then I just random picks of colors. Like if they said it was supposed to be a DMC whatever and it was like close to this kind of a pink this one here actually is the Priscilla's peppermint so that's a classic color works one so and so other ones of them are looks like I got mostly classic color works yeah looks like I packed that batch and then I got my other fancy flosses of like Valadini so like for a pumpkin one our Christmas one so I just kind of randomly grabbed different fancy flosses I grabbed my fancy flosses out and just started and grabbing different ones for all those the little patterns all around the block so and there's six of them I think I think I don't know I don't remember and I don't not that great at math to remember <laughs> So around the block, I want to get it started for um, Mania. Like I want to get at least one of the squares done. Um, the Blue Flowers Holiday card, which to me is more summery. And again, I was talking about doing the bees for June. So I think, so that's on the, is a maybe. Lord knows I have enough things to keep me busy. <laughs> okay. 
My goodness. Hold on. Let me clean off my desk. Giveaways. I got two of the three um, people respond and tell me that, yes, they did win. And I got their stuff out as well as Kimberly's got her stuff out. She already told me she got hers. Um, and I sent out that box to Vintage Stitcher. Um, so everything got shipped out last week. Minus one person, Sabrina. Um, I have not heard from you um, for your winning of the water garden color kit. So I'm still waiting here from Sabrina on that. Um, I did another um, giveaway options last video. And honestly, I'm leaving town in two days and I'm going to be home for two days in which case I have at least one wedding if not two the other ones are possible I'm talking to somebody I don't know if they're gonna book or not they probably will so I'm gonna be home on the first I've got a possible wedding on the second I have a wedding on the third on the fourth I'm leaving to go get mom and she's gonna be with us until probably about the ninth or tenth so trying to get these to the mail when so I decided I'm going to extend that same giveaway for another video so item number one is the butterflies book item number two is the two sweetheart tree patterns um, this one does not have beads this one does and number three is the two shepherds bush designs I'll do them one at a time so you can see them one is bold the other one is love so both of these is number three so if you're interested in those go ahead and leave a comment with either numbers one, two, or three. And I'll continue the same question. I asked, how do you keep track of your thread? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I keep track of mine. Because I had people answering how they organize it and that's not what I meant when I asked the question. I mean, obviously I'm still going to count your answer, don't worry. But I meant how do you keep track of it? So here's my week's dye works. I'm going to show you it. As you see, I ordered all the A's and B's. That's why they all got a mark next to me, and I've got one. Then if, if they're on the ring in the closet, they just have one next to them. If they've got a letter next to them, so like here, I can't even see because I took off my glasses. I'm trying to show you something that I can't see. That's not so cool, is it? Okay, so here... You see, like, I've got an H, an A, an H, and this is all in pencil, so I can erase it. So down here, A is acorn, H is home, to where I can find where it is freebie, um, you know, the different patterns, summertime, lily of the valley. So that when I'm going through these and I'm like, oh, do I have this? I have it, but it's here. That way... I can keep track of what do I have versus what do I need to get. So it's like there's no point in me buying another one if I'm going through my master, I guess that's what you would call it, your master um, I have no clue. I'm turning 51. I deserve to have a little bit of in my mind, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what word I'm trying to use here. So we're just going to go with the master thread group. Yeah. Help me with the, what word I'm looking for in the comment. How about that? You'll get an extra entry into the uh, <laughs> giveaways. I don't know. I, I can't think of what word to use here. Oh my gosh. I'm not that stupid, people. I really am not. I don't know what it is with age that suddenly you just, your mind just goes and my mom tells me, oh, it's going to get worse. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. So, 
if I'm go if I just went to my master pile, that's what I'm going to call it, pile. If I went to my master pile and it was missing, I would just order it in the past. But now I can look at it and say, "Oh no, you don't need to order it. It's in Acorns." Oh, it's in the summer acorns one. Now, from there, I can decide if it's, we'll just say that lilies of the valley, and I only needed, you know, a little bit for a couple of the flowers. Then I could just take it from acorn, grab a couple strands off of it, use one of my floss drops that I got half price. <laughs> Add it to there. <laughs> and go ahead and have the, um, have it for the two patterns and then when I'm done with it I would know where to like if I had some leftover because I told you I'm stingy when it comes to my fancy floss so it's like if I only use one strand and I like pulled three the other two strands can be returned to acorn where that master where that where the thread is at there's no master there where the thread is at it's because it's in acorns not in my master pile or stash or whatever <sighs> we're just gonna leave that topic all alone now because I'm all confused I confuse myself how sad is that okay so I keep this and there's actually with this one because there's different types of threads um so there's a double on that one I keep that there and then I keep it in a little sleeve and then here are my labels. So when I get my threads, I can put my labels on them. So I just keep it together, make it easy for me. And then right now, I have these hanging on the, on a hanger, on rings, on a hanger in the closet. It's not working for me. I saw on Instagram, I'm not on Instagram very much, so for me to see anything on Instagram is like, oh, she actually saw something? Yeah. They had like the key holder, like that you get the, um, like for your car keys, like you stick on the wall and it has like three or four little hanger things for the. I got the email alert came up and I was seeing if it was a bride. Is it a bride? <laughs> that takes precedence over everything. Um, but what's it? The, uh, uh, but you take the ring and put it on those hooks. And then it's like, okay, so this ones are my week style works. And then I'll get another one. These are my color and um, classic color works ones. And I'm thinking, there you go. You see it on there where I have a couple of cross stitch patterns hanging there. I think that's where I'm going to put them, but I'm not completely sure. Um, because I'm going to be redesigning all this behind me. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. I don't think. Um, so for like, same thing goes for the classic color works. So as you see, I've got like the little numbers on this one because there's colors. There's colors like black coffee that I told you I have a million of. I just put a plus sign. I counted two of them and then put a plus sign. So this one here, I have one and it's in A. So I'd go down here to see A is acorn. Nice and consistent, isn't that? Wow, look at me go. Um, some of the new colors that came out since this was that Priscilla's peppermint, fields of green, things like that. So I have those marked. Um, as well so that is kind of what I am uh, that's how I am keeping track of my threads or at least my fancy flosses I have the same thing for DMC but um, it's obviously a much thicker list and it's on the side of that because all my DMC's are in that drawers there um, and on the other side of it is the master list but I just pull out whatever color um, that I need out of the drawers, grab a few 
usually I grab two or three depending on the pattern of the strands that are already held on. I know I was lazy and hadn't put this one away yet, so I'll show you what I mean here. So on this one, I've got the floss drop, and as you see, it's a total mess. That's why I haven't put it away yet, because I knew I wanted to kind of filter it out first. Um, so basically, I take this, I undo it from here, you know, just a floss drop, you just untie it, grab out two strands, tie it back on, loop it back around, boom, put it back in the drawer. Take the two strands, put it on the floss drop to go into whatever project I'm going, going to use. If I go through those two or three strands and need more, I just pull the drawer, grab a few more, put it back. So having a list for the DMC isn't necessary because I just open up the drawer and look. They're all numerical and everything and I just look and it's like, oh, okay. If it's one that I need to order, like I use the last few strands, I have it right here so I know this is what I need to order and then I'll go ahead and <sighs> it's getting frustrating people I use their winder thing and I will kit it up or whatever do the floss thing <laughs> do the, use a winder cut the thread put the floss on here and then do like this and put it in the drawer. So when I'm needing a color, I just keep it separate. And then I have a list on my phone, a little on the note app, I just put DMC and then I just write down whatever numbers I need. And that way, whenever I run into Hobby Lobby or wherever, I just, oh, okay, here's these. Or sometimes when I'm ordering off one, two, three, and I'm already ordering the Fancy Floss, so what's 66 cents for our DMC and just order it and then I don't have to worry about it. So that's how I'm doing my threads and how I keep track of them. So the question was, how do you keep track of them? What's going on behind me in the office? My husband came up with a great idea. Right now, this is a guest room with my office and my craft stuff. But we don't have that many guests. I mean, we are in the next two months, but other than that, usually we don't have many guests maybe five a year, if that. So I said probably closer to three a year for a weekend. It's not like it's there, there that long. We were looking to buy a bed to go, everything's got such a long story, it seems like. We were looking for a bed to buy for my, for the, my mom's house, our other house in Simpsonville. So that when we go there to stay, we have a comfortable bed. And of course, I've been spending more time there, so I'm like, yeah. So we were gonna buy a bed for that. Well, then my husband's like, well, why don't we take this bed there and buy a Murphy bed for your office? And that way, the bed can be closed up and you'd have more of an office and crafting room and less of a guest room. And then when people visit, you just put the Mur Murphy bed down. I'm like, oh! And then I found out that I don't have to have one of those huge vertical ones because I'm like, man, it's going to take up like that whole wall behind me. I'm like, ah, oh, it's going to suck. But I'd rather lose a lot of wall space and gain floor space. So I'm like, I'm still thinking on it. Found out I could get one with like a desk on it. And I'm like, perfect. And then I wouldn't have to carry all my things out to the dining room every time I wanted to do finishing. And also, I wouldn't have to worry about the... Um, when I'm doing flowers, I can bring flowers in here and I have to carry half my stuff out. I've got to carry out the flower tape and this and that and the, you know, different pruning shares that I use and the, all the bases I have in here. So it's like carrying all that stuff out to the dining room so I can make flower, make bouquets. I can do that in here if I had a desk. I'm like, oh, I could have a desk part to it. Well, the more I looked at it, the more I was like, mm, I don't know. Well, then I found there's one that goes into it like a chest. So like you, you know, kind of like pull it. I'll have to show you pictures or well, you'll see it behind me. And 
then the chest would be like that area. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that'd be so awesome because I could do my flowers, I could do my finishing work, I could do all of that stuff right here and not have to carry it out and carry it in and carry it out and carry it in. So the office is going to be revamped. No more bed. It'll be a bed, but it'll be all closed up into a nice chest. So once I get all that reorganized and everything, obviously, you guys will see it. It's not going to probably won't be the next video. It'll probably be the video after that. But yes, I'm excited. So you guys will get a different backdrop. I'll probably change my angle because I probably will move my computer to a different spot and everything else. My desk and computer will go to a different area. And yeah, so exciting stuff. All right, so I know you guys want more pictures and video of Bo, so I will go ahead and insert that. Um, not really sure when my next video is gonna be. Um, I'll have some pictures flowing while I'm just blabbling here for a minute. Um, not really sure when my next video is gonna be. It might be um, that second and third before I go get mom, but I doubt it. <laughs> probably going to be after I take mom home which will be somewhere on the 9th or 10th or something um, but I'm like crazy busy weddings because it's May come like 12th, 13th, 14th etc 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 so I don't know if I'll get it done then or if it's going to be after that regardless we'll get a video up as soon as we can and update you on my trip and everything and all of that fun stuff so i'm going to leave you with some uh last you can sign off now great um have a great stitchy week i know i'm going to have a wonderful week weekend away and i will put in some uh and i'll leave you with videos i think there's four of them they're pretty i mean i think two of them are like 40 seconds and the other ones are less so if you want to watch them you're welcome to otherwise i'll see you later thank you have a great time bye is that your pacifier mm -hmm. good Yippee, good boy, he said. The treat. Okay, good boy. And can he... I have to figure out how we can hold the phone and do this, but we're going to try. Five. Oh, yeah. He did a five. There you go. Yep. Anyway. Yes, he did a good lay. There you go. Here's a tricky one. All right, lay down. We weren't, we weren't done laying. Get back over there. Sit. Sit. Lay. Can you crawl? Oh, oh, oh. That doesn't show up very good on the camera, but you did good. This. You did a good job. This. What you got? Hmm? Did you get a new toy? Let me see. Can I see it? Can I see it? Mama has it. No. <gasps> Give it to me. Little brat. We got drool intentions from Bark Buster. Is this your bark by Sturmobie? <laughs> Drool intentions? Mm. Dip. Oh, okay, you ready? Oh boy.
you go for it, aren't you? Yeah.